Welcome to Black Sport Network, where the dark arts of ethical hacking come to life. Ready to unleash your inner Linux ninja and slice through networks like a ghost? You're in the right place. In this video, we'll show you the secrets of staying hidden like a pro, using the Holly Who Am I tool to cover your tracks and keep your hacking skills on the down low. So gear up and get ready to go full on covered up in your hacking lab. And if you want to stay ahead in the game and receive the latest tricks and techniques, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We promise not to hack your account, unless you ask us to, of course. <laughs> okay, let's dive on in, shall we? Fire up your terminals, folks. First, let's expose our current setup with the command cat forward slash etsy forward slash hostname. And yep, it's still set to Kali. A bit too obvious, don't you think? Next, let's check our date and time with the use of the date command. And as you can see, it's in the format of our current location. Cat. Central African time. Nice and straightforward. Now let's reveal our private IP and MAC address with the command IP and A. Hit enter. Yep, there they are. 192.168.43.124. Take note of the MAC address ending in 2AF7. Finally, let's see if we're currently routing through the Tor network. To do this, we'll fire up Firefox and head on over to check.torproject.org site. And nope, not yet. Also take note, this link reveals your public IP address, which I blurred out right here. But don't worry, we're about to change all of that. Time to get our hacking tools in order. First, let's make sure our repositories are up to date because nobody likes outdated hacking tools, right? So we'll run the sudo apt update and get the latest goodies. Next, we'll make sure we have all necessary tools installed like tar, tor, curl, python3, python3, scappy, and network manager. Don't worry, I won't make you memorize all these commands. They'll be linked in the description down below. So you can just copy and paste like a pro. And finally, we'll clone the Kali Who Am I tool with Git. Because who doesn't love a good clone? Get it? Clone? Like a hacking ninja? Nah, never mind. <laughs> anyway, you can find that command in the description too. Now. Let's go digging for treasure. Use the ls command. And here we have it. Our Kali Who Am I directory will navigate into it like a pro using the cd command, of course. Okay, now that we're inside, let's get our bearings with another ls. Oh, yes, there it is. The legendary make file. We'll use the ancient incantation sudo make install to awaken its powers. And bam, our tool is ready to rock. Time to crack open the user manual, or rather, the command line equivalent. Let's use the sudo kali who am I hyphen hyphen help command to uncover the secrets of the universe, or at least the secrets of the kali who am I tool. <laughs> A list of commands and descriptions appears, and we can read it at our own pace, because let's be real, who doesn't love reading manuals? Next, we'll use the sudo kali who am I hyphen hyphen status command, and boom, a list of nine features appears. Okay, let's spend a little time here and dive into the features of this amazing tool. First up, we have the anti man in the middle. This feature is like having a personal bodyguard for your network traffic. It detects and prevents man in the middle attacks, keeping your data safe from prying eyes. Next, we have a log killer. This one's like a digital shredder, disposing of logs and covering your tracks because let's face it, who needs a paper trail when you're trying to be stealthy? Then there's the IP changer, the ultimate identity swapper. With this feature, you can change your IP address in a flash, making it harder for anyone to track you down. And if that's not enough, we also have DNS changer, which is like a phone book editor for the internet. It lets you switch up your DNS settings to keep your online activities private. But wait, there's more. Mac changer, a digital disguise, allowing you to spoof your Mac address and stay anonymous. Time zone changer is like a time traveling machine, letting you adjust your time zone to keep your online activities synchronized. Hostname changer is like a name tag editor, enabling you to rename your hostname and keep your identity under wraps. Browser anonymization is like the cloak of invisibility for your browser, making it harder for anyone to track your online presence. And finally, anti-cold boot, 
This here is a data protector, safeguarding your sensitive information from cold boot attacks. These features make Kali Who Am I an incredibly powerful tool for anyone looking to maintain their privacy and security online. Activating these features is easier than convincing a hacker to attend a cybersecurity seminar. It's a piece of cake. Simply press the number of the feature you want to activate and hit enter. In no time, you'll be enjoying a slice of privacy and security. So let's get activating. Press 1, hit enter. Press 2, hit enter. Press 3, hit enter. You get the idea. Keep going all the way up to 9. And when you're done, hit enter one last time to activate the tool. Kali Who Am I starts and it's like a superhero cape unfurling. All the features are on display ready to save the day. Note that all the features are enabled except for one. DNS changer. Yeah, it's like that one friend who always flakes on plans. Sorry, I can't make it into the hacking party today. I have a prior commitment to my network binge watching schedule. Shut up. But seriously, DNS changer and IP changer can't both be activated at the same time. It's like trying to wear two superhero capes at once. They just can't both fly. IP changer uses its own DNS magic, so we'll have to leave DNS changer on the sidelines for now. Time to verify that Kali Who Am I is working its magic. First, let's check our host name with cat forward slash Etsy forward slash host name. Oh wow, it says I'm using MacBook. Yeah, right. I wish I were that rich. Mm hmm. Next up, the date command. Hmm, it's now in UTC, one hour behind my actual time. I guess my clock is running a bit behind. Or is it just trying to be fashionably late? Now, let's check our IP address with IP and A, hit enter. Ah, oh, yes, our private address has been changed too. And our MAC address is now ending in C5F0. It's like a digital makeover. Finally, let's find our public address by searching for what's my IP, click on the first link, and oh dear. According to this site, I'm now in Fort Worth, Texas, USA, and I'm being routed through a tall exit node, and my public IPv4 address is 109.70.100.36. And for the grand finale, we'll inspect the browser anonymization. Let's check if our browser is configured to use Tor by visiting the check.torproject.org site, and boom, we are configured to use Tor. We are all set. Our browser is is now a master of disguise, thanks to Tor. And that's a wrap, folks. Time to head over to our terminal and stop this tool. Pseudo Kali who am I hyphen hyphen stop. And just to double check, let's run pseudo Kali who am I hyphen hyphen status. Ah, yes, all features are disabled. Well, that's all for today's hacking adventure. Thanks for joining me on this spine tingling journey into the depths of the Kali who am I. But beware, for the hacking horrors don't end here. Subscribe now or risk being haunted by the ghost of unsecured networks. Click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell or I'll unleash a payload of pesky pop-ups upon thee. Thanks again and until next time, stay secure and keep on hacking if you dare.